Hey gang, what's going on? So we have uh, some details on a couple of notes. Um, and we also have some more news uh, in regards to a uh, player being hurt. So before I get into the details of the Aaron Nola sweepstakes, as well as the uh, injury, uh, if you could hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons, it'd be greatly appreciated. It's extremely helpful for the channel, because and it gives me great feedback on what you think. And I don't want you guys to miss out on a single thing that I put out throughout the off season, because a lot's going to be happening, and it's about to start picking up even more. So let's get on to the news. So Johan uh, Oviedo, the young 25-year-old right-handed pitcher from the Pittsburgh Pirates, is getting Tommy John surgery on his pitching elbow. Uh, I don't know what it's for, but they just said it was a serious injury, serious arm injury. I'm guessing it's going to be a uh, tear of his UCL. So he will miss all of 24 and part of 25 to uh, recover from this and get back on the field. Now, for the biggest bit of news is... The Aaron Nola sweepstakes. And that was between... So, there were multiple teams who wanted him. The Braves and the Dodgers were two of them. This was reported earlier. <clears throat> I also have another bit of news in regards to Yamamoto. And what's going to happen with that. But, let me get to this Aaron Nola news first, which is uh, pretty significant. So, it came out earlier that the Braves and the Dodgers had formal offers for him. Uh, the Dodgers were going to off, offer him $165 million, uh, dollars, and the years were unknown. Uh, so the Dodgers did have a formal offer in place. We just don't know what the years was, but we do know it was around the $165 million mark. The Braves were going to offer him six years for $162 million. So the Braves were looking to push hard to get Aaron Nola away from their division rivals. Uh, unfortunately for them and the Dodgers, he went back to Philly on that uh, $172 million seven-year deal. I think it was. So Aaron Nola uh, did, did end up remaining with Philadelphia. Now, the other bit of news that just popped up was what is going to happen with Yamamoto now that he is posted? How is this process going to work? Well... Yamamoto's camp has already stated that there's going to be two different kinds of meetings. There's going to be a Zoom, um, FaceTime, whatever meeting, uh, Skype meeting that's going to be done with all the interested teams that are interested in him. So that would include teams like the Yankees, the Dodgers, the Mets, the Red Sox, all of them. So all those teams that are interested in acquiring the services of Yamamoto We'll be able to have a Zoom, FaceTime, Skype call um, with Yamamoto. And then later on down the road, probably before the winter meetings, Yamamoto will be flying to the States to meet with each individual team that is interested in him. This is coming from Yamamoto's camp. This is how they're going to do it. This is how they're going to play it. So the first one is going to be a Zoom, FaceTime, Skype meeting, whatever they're deciding to do with all interested teams. And then they're going to come to the States and visit with each team that is interested. That's where all the negotiating is going to begin. That's where all the um, the contract talks will start. This is where he's going to field offers uh, from multiple teams uh, where... He'll get an idea of which teams are really serious about getting him and acquiring his services and which teams are not going to really be able to make that push to get him. Also, we know that he did say he uh, would like to play with another Japanese player. That is not um, a priority, but it is something he would like. So that doesn't exactly take teams who don't have Japanese players out of the running. It just means now there, there's going to be an extra step that those teams will have to take. But regardless of all that, uh, Yamamoto will start meeting with teams uh, over the phone. And then they will do 
a face-to-face -face here in the States when they do arrive. That is the latest from here. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys think of this news. And, you know, let's get into this. Uh, this is something that's going to get really, uh, this is going to get picked up real quick, real soon. So let's get into this and I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day.